gosh, can you imagine, Monica, even as a parent or any parent out there, your kids are going door to door trick or treating. Then you see SWAT team arrive and trick or treating is cut short. Of course, any parent would be worried to stay up to date on those apps, too. So it's very important to stay in tune with all that. Also, NBC4i.com, we're going to keep you up to date as well. So safe travels out there. And reminder, always arrive two hours early to make sure you make your flight on time. Patty, very scary situation this morning for some teenagers that were on a bus that crashed right here. You can see by the looks of this guardrail how much it's indented here. They're lucky that they only had non-life-threatening injuries in this situation because honestly, by the looks of it right here, it could have been a lot worse. More of a celebration than a groundbreaking right here in New Albany this morning. Major impacts on our economy right here in Central Ohio. You can see thousands of construction jobs well underway. All right, now here at Whetstone, this is just one polling location today. They open at 6.30 this morning. They'll close around 7.30. The main suspect was arrested with the help of marshals late last night. He's in Kansas. Also, this woman right here, she's behind bars right here in Delaware County Jail. She was also arrested in connection with this murder. Police do tell us that she is dangerous. Quick and Eastman could face additional charges in this incident as well. Now, Quick's bond is set at $1 million. Controversial bill is heading to the Senate floor as early as tomorrow. It's one step closer to passing, but it still has a long way to go. That's right, Jen. It's supposed to be very busy here at John Glenn International. 306 flights arriving and departing today alone. And there was a big line right here just a few minutes ago. It's actually moving pretty quickly. You can see TSA check is going pretty fast right there. And let's take a look at the departures. They're all looking pretty good right now, all on time. We're hoping to request that footage after it's reviewed by troopers. We're also hoping to learn more information about the driver of that Mustang as well. We'll keep you posted on NBC4i.com and, of course, coming up on NBC4 at 4 o'clock and 5 o'clock. Local for you in Perry County. Danielle Grossman, NBC4.